Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Devil May Cry. We're finally heading back into the castle in Mission 16. Mission 16, Nightmare of Darkness. Well, we've finished Alastor. We've finished Ifrit. So, let's grab a blue orb and a purple orb. Little more health, little more trigger. That's always good. Unravel the mystery of the stuff, Hermes. And straight away, there's a blue, uh, blue orb, a full blue orb, entire thing. That's very generous, good sir. So last time we killed Griffin. Uh, well, we didn't kill Griffin. Moon has killed Griffin. But who cares? He's dead. We've got the Wheel of Destiny. Um, we've also got the Staff of Hermes. So we've got everything we need to go back into the castle. But first... Secret Mission. Stairway of Tranquility. Acquire the Blue Orb at the end of the Stairway of Death. Yeah, Stairway of Death is a pretty good name. I mean, have a look at this. It's a staircase of freaking skulls. Well, they're called Sargosses anyway, but uh, who cares? They're skulls. They're freaking skulls. There's a staircase of them. We have to climb it. So why don't we do that? Let's try. Bounce off. Bounce. Bounce. Air hike. Bounce. Yeah. That secret mission can be a bit annoying. Okay, really annoying. Bastard. And now they're disappearing. Disappearing. Stay and fight, you cowards. But nope, they're gone. Dope. Damn. Oh well. Good riddance. Ugly bastards. So yeah, on the lower difficulties so they don't actually come after you. <laughs> That's only on the higher ones. It's really quite annoying. But they do reach form into a staircase if you just leave them alone. And there's a death scythe. But he's just an attention seeker. If we ignore him, he'll go away. Yeah, I actually tried to cheat that secret mission once. I tried to... It was really annoying me, so I, I climbed up into the stands and I tried to air raid over from there to grab the blue orb. Didn't work. The skulls and the blue orb fragment disappeared. Capcom thought of that. And it's really kind of dark and creepy here now. But that's alright, we're nearly at the castle. There's a message. The wheel of destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning. Yes, it shall. So that's what the Wheel of Destiny is used for. Let's us back into the castle finally. And uh, I did try to fly over that gap once before, but you can't. There's an invisible wall. Catcom thought of that too. Zap. And down comes the drawbridge. So finally, the castle, the familiar castle, our old stomping grounds. Whoa, wait a second. These aren't our old stomping grounds. Listen to that music. And look at how dark it is. This can't be the castle. But it looks like it is. some red orbs. So why don't we head upstairs and hey, the door has disappeared. It must be the work of dark evil powers. Okay, so it seems that while we're away, the castle has changed somewhat. And look at how dark that is. Lucky we've got the luminite to light things up for us. 
This door is cursed. Wonderful. Dante is quite sarcastic. Why don't we explore? So not many options of where to go. In fact, no options of where to go. There's that blue orb fragment. That's uh oops. That's the easier way of getting it. The harder way is to climb up under the head of the horse statue and jump from there. But uh, I find I usually screw that up, so I'll do the easy way. What's this? Didn't there used to be a big statue here? Hmm. Well, let's light up the dial. See what happens. The introduction of the plasma. Remember this guy from Mission 6? Yeah, he was a pain. But no more. <laughs> yeah, you die, electric man. So, if it makes sure work with them. Plus, there was only one at a time, and uh, that makes for kind of easy prey. And a blue orb fragment. So, when I first played this game, I actually I didn't really like it for it. I, I stuck with Alistair, but uh, now that I've gotten used to Ifrit, I'll love it. Love it. Love Ifrit. And another plasma. You gotta kick in. Wham! Ooh, and he split. That's not gonna help him. Kaboom! And they're dead. <laughs> You're dead. You're all dead. So they can split. Uh, there's going to be a maximum of three plasmas in a room at any one time, but uh, once one of them die, another one can split into two. Or three, as the case may be. Hey, why don't we check out the Room of Hell? But no. The Room of Hell no longer exists. What a shame. And by that, I mean, hell yeah. Let's see what's in the hallway. Fetishes. Doors are locked, so we gotta kill all the fetishes quickly. Oh, yeah. I meant to play with this a bit. Yes, that may be there. Let's try it out. So yeah, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful stuff. Damn, more respawning. Can't play with Nightmare Beta for long here, sadly. You can very easily get screwed over here and die when there's fetishes in the hallway. Gotta kill them before they respawn more. Well, the doors won't unlock and they all trigger. That's incredibly annoying. The timer's still going. That means we have to kill more. There we go. Timer has ended. Here's a trigger. I would play with Nightmare Batter a bit more, but that's extremely dangerous, that hallway. Hey look, the door's gone. And the earlier door in the hallway was gone too. So there's only one way to go. Suspicious puddle. Well, let's just pretend we didn't see that. We want to go try out the Staff of Hermes, so let's just ignore that. But the door won't budge. Okay. Well, we cannot ignore that. Alright. Ebony and Ivory. We've got Ifrit. Alright, we're ready to go. There's a strong surge of evil coming from the puddle of water. It's an evil puddle. There's a voice in my head saying something. It's an evil puddle that talks to me telepathically. 
One who knocks on the gate to the underworld shall borrow the strength from the blue stone. Uh, I'm sure that'll make sense later. And what the hell is that? That is the nightmare. Our new boss. Our new boss type character. Nightmare is a pretty complex fight, so I'll try to explain some of it. Not all of it in one fight, that's, that's too much, but some of it. So Nightmare's got two forms. He's got his blob form, which is what he's in now. A big, ugly, hideous blob. In his blob form, he's not very dangerous, so he does is send these stupid things after us, which are really annoying. And he tries to eat us too, but uh, I'm not going to show that yet. So he's not very dangerous, but we can't hurt him in this form. So we have to turn him solid. In his solid form, he's very dangerous. But that's the only form we can hurt him in, so let's turn him solid. Let's see slugs piss off. Piss off slug. Turn him solid by lighting up a dial. Any dial will do. A dial. And that's his solid form. Looks a lot like Nightmare Beta, doesn't it? And that's his core. That's where he's vulnerable. So it's these things try to machine you, gun you between every attack. They're really annoying. The damage can really rack up on this difficulty. Actually, I'll use this doll. That doll is really far away. Alright, he's gonna try to stab me. I'll let you watch this move. Pretty lethal, eh? Hey? Pretty ruthless. Here comes the ice beam again. If it's homing kick, it's pretty handy here to get on top of him. Don't go too early though, because you'll get hurt. So jump at just the right time. Oop. Nope, naughty nightmare. Not let it eat me yet. That's Lita. He tried to spot at me. But I'm not having that. Yeah, slaves. Time up. Slugs. What was he up to? The stab. Alright, I'll try to parry the stab. Oops. Yeah, so you can parry the stabs with rolling blades. If you parry any one of the stabs, he won't try to do the rest and he'll leave his core open for you to attack. Just like that. Oh, slugs. You will hate slugs by the end of this fight. I guarantee it. I hate slugs. Ow. Don't you hate slugs? I hate slugs. Ice cream. Turn his core green. I'm not going to talk about that in this fight, though. That will be later. Too much explanation for one fight, I think. And he's going to lob again. Light up a dial. You can't keep the dials lit up with good timing, but uh, I keep forgetting to relight them and just going off doing my own thing. Here comes Steb. Haha, parried. Take that nightmare. Bam. Shooting those things, that won't doesn't make them go away completely. It does give you some trigger back though, which is extremely handy. Bam, 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 bam. Sound effects. Alright, time to get eaten. Ooh. And it happened as I said that too. That was good timing. So we got eaten, we're dead. Game over. We're dead. Or are we? Now, we are... I don't know where we are. 
where we're in Nightmares Billy or we're in the underworld or we're in some other weird place. I don't know where we are. Point is we're in some weird place. When we get out we have to kill everything. Everything is mostly skulls. Bam. Oh so easy. Bam. Here comes the big one. Yeah, big, really big skull. It's got flesh and an eyeball. It's really kind of gross. What's that boss bar doing there? Hey, does that look familiar? I hope so. It's Phantom. Or is it? It's kind of Phantom, kind of not. It's a nightmare version of Phantom. It's not actually him because he's gone. It's a nightmare wannabe version of him. Whoops. Hey, that worked. <laughs> so it's a mini boss version of Phantom. Made up of our nightmares or something. Dies very quickly as you can see. And he's dead. He's gone. Give us a little bit of health and a full trigger refill. Thank you. Now we can escape. But switch back to my nightmare fighting uh, arsenal first. So once you're inside nightmare, kill a bunch of skulls and then kill a mini boss who is a rehash of a previous boss, especially a nightmare version of one. For this fight, the mini boss is Phantom. So get everything you can escape. We'll go back to the real world. So what was the point of all that shit? Well, watch Nightmare's health bar. Watch it, watch it. Bam! Look at that. Huge damage. So that's why you want to get eaten. Huge damage. However, you can only get eaten once per fight. Only once. He does try to eat you a second time, but he only does damage. He won't actually swallow you. So you, you do not want to get eaten a second time. Oops. Nightmare's getting really close to that that dial. I don't want to use that one. I don't like using those ones off in the distance because they usually have me end up pretty far from Nightmare. Alright. See if I can trigger him into doing an attack I haven't shown you yet. Here he comes. This attack's really annoying. I want to show you it. It's a uh, missile attack. He's shooting shit at me. So that attack is interchangeable with his ice beam. It depends on where you're standing. You don't want him to do it because it's hard to damage him. But when he does his ice beam, you can just jump on his back and kick the shit out of him. Parry! Bam! Ooh, can I finish him? Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Finish him! Oh, not quite yet. Once you come from up from his belly, the dolls last lot much longer, as you can see. Whoops. I made him do the missile attack again. Oh well. Rolling Blaze is good for keeping you alive through that. You can actually attack his core when he's doing that with Vortex. And he's dead. Yeah, you piss off, Nightmare. You ugly bastard. I'm saying bastard a lot lately, I should stop. And he's gone. So that was Nightmare. And I'm not going to go out there yet. Not yet. There's a secret mission I want to go do. So Nightmare is an extremely patterned boss. He has a very strict pattern, he does. It's a shadow, I'm going to ignore him. So he actually does ice beam, stab, ice beam, stab, ice beam, stab, over and over. That's his pattern. But his ice beam is interchangeable with that missile attack that you saw. It depends on where you're standing. If you're standing to his side or near his rear, he'll do the missiles. If you're standing near his front, he'll do the ice beam. So that's his pattern. He's extremely predictable. And what's this? Secret mission. Shadow of Darkness. Hunt down all the shadows. Yeah, they love shadows for secret missions, don't they? <laughs> Another shadow secret mission. But this time it's a bit more original. This time you have to hunt them down. It's like a treasure hunt only scarier. 
It's not just, hey, here's three shadows, kill them. It's, hey, here's four shadows, and they're all hidden. Go find them. This one. Come get me. <laughs> yeah, you're ugly. Well, it's a good thing shadows are so nicely designed. They're a really neat enemy. I like them. If they were stupid, I would have gone insane by now with how many I've had to fight. I wonder if there's another one in here. Glowing eyes! And it's triggered too. Don't want to screw with triggered shadows. I'll let him make the first move. Show me your car. Good boy. Get away. <laughs> it's not from the biplane. Yeah, he's dead. Thank you. I should have gotten some more trigger there. Hold on. I should be able to make it. So there's two left. Let's go find them. Let's go find them. Find them. Hunt, hunt. I wonder if there's one in here. Okay, I'm, I'm not wondering, I know where they are, but uh, I'd like to keep you on guard. Hey, did you see glowing eyes? I saw glowing eyes. Shadow! <laughs> Don't know if it could even reach me. Over there. Kill him before he triggers. Oops, not that stupid air raid. Oh, I hate air raid. I shouldn't have bought it. No, I do need it to fly around. But oh god, is it annoying. Just give up and die peacefully. Surrender! I need, I need a trigger. Oh well. And he's dead. Let's go find the last shadow. The last one. And there's the tense music. The new battle music, that is. And look at that. It's just sitting there like a cute little kitty. Let's pat him. Right, so that's not padding, but I will. My sting has barely landed there, so I had to do four of them. <laughs> Ooh. Nearly got me that time. Nearly isn't good enough. And he's dead. Thank you. Our reward. Blue up fragment. Woohoo! That was, I believe, the tenth secret mission. So there's only two left in the entire game. Yep, only two left. We're going pretty awesome with this game. I'm gonna refill my trier on the way through the hallway. Ooh, he's good at dodging, isn't he? I don't feel like fighting them. What will I get in here? What will I get? Fetish as it looks. Fetishes. Where are you? There we go. You will all explode under my grenade power. No, full trigger already. That was easy. Hey. Let's give it another try. <laughs> you can fire it in the air too, so that's good. I love the grenade gun. Whoa. I could get mauled. I could get barely mauled. Oh, he's triggered. Let's get out of here. I didn't sign on for this crap. Grenades. Thank you. Some quick trigger there. Alright. 
nightmare we hardly knew ye but of course you'll be back like every single boss so far he'll be back hmm. do I have enough trigger to fly over find out yeah I tried to sting a jump across there the same way I, I did before and it didn't work so I think the, the, pat the uh, platforms have been rearranged but I'm not sure So remember way back in mission three we left four red orbs here? Now they've grown. Now they're big. Woohoo. There are actually five. I had to collect one of them though, so I would inspect this thing here. Let's have a look. It's reacting with the growing evil surge of the darkness. Shall I use Staff of Hermes? Yes. Hmm, interesting. Two pictures. The Castellan's bedroom is depicted. It's reacting to the growing evil surge of the darkness. We know. It looks like an ordinary oil painting, but it's not. The surface is rippling like water. Jump! This is the bedroom from before. The blue orb fragment. I came in here to grab this right now so I don't forget it later. And I could really use some extra health for the next mission. Oh, and an item. Sparkling. Untouchable. So, the bedroom. There were quite a few ways out of here before. But the doors vanished due to evil powers. Scary. Dante is very sarcastic. Hmm. And that door's gone too. And so has that door, but it doesn't even have text for it. So this is the only way out. Back through the teleporter. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but uh, nightmares patterns. Um, they, f they continue, even when he turns blobby and then turns solid again. He'll remember where he's up to gatekeeper's room. But uh, if you go inside his belly and come back out, he restarts from the beginning, so from the ice beam. It's important to remember so you can predict him. That makes the fight so much easier once you know what he's going to do. Thank you for giving me an S. It took so many tries that I think I deserve an S. Alright, let's save. Next mission. Who? Oh, next mission. Oh god, next mission. Next mission is going to be bad. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be bad. So next mission, basically I have the idea of doing a... Apparently it was done in the, in the GoldenEye LP. I'm going to check that out. I haven't checked it out yet. I basically have several different versions of the file and not tell you which one I win in. So basically show you some debts. Uh, for anyone who doesn't like that idea, I'm going to have a regular video as well, which is just like my past ones. But if you like the idea, you can pick one of the videos at random and see whether I die or not. It could be interesting. It could be very interesting. That's what I hope anyway. So I'll see you next mission. Mission 17. Which will be very difficult.